live once again and today I really really want to have a conversation about how do we grow our email list how do you grow your email list what does it take to get people your ideal clients to kind of share their email address with you in exchange for something yummy and that yummy thing being our freebie our lead magnet how do we really make it so compelling that it's a non-brainer for your audience to be, be like of course yeah take my take my email i want this thing this super juicy thing that's inside so again today the entire live stream is going to be about talking about freebies lead magnets how do we make them more compelling so ultimately we can get more people on our list we can nurture them more and obviously um have some of them sign up with our offer so, I've, I, as always, <laughs> I'm twisting my words, but as always, I'm going to say hi to you. So, if you are here live with me, please, please let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. Where in the world are you right now? So, I am guessing my Americans are waking up. Europe, are you here with me? Maybe late now in Australia, though. Please let me know in the chat where are you tuning in from so I can bring you up on the screen say hi to you before we kick off this very juicy conversation. And also, as always, we're going to make this live stream all about you. So any questions that you have, if I haven't covered them, or you just like want me to clarify anything I'm saying, please let me know in the chat as well. You're more than welcome to pause me if I'm talking too fast. I think I already am. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit so I'm not, doesn't sound as crazy though. Yeah, this session is all about you. So please, please let me know in the chat where you're tuning in from so I can say hi to you. Hello, 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 Walter. So nice to have you here. Hello. We have Miranda live with us as well. Hi, Miranda. So lovely to have you guys. So LinkedIn is in attendance. Okay, New Jersey. USA. Hello, Steven. So awesome to have you here. Okay. Hello from Sacramento, California. I actually, so you see, I don't know who this is because it says LinkedIn user. There are some settings. I'm going to reach out to you later on. There's settings in the back end that actually we have to change on LinkedIn to be able to share our names in a live stream. So I'm going to make sure that in the future, I have a link for you to be able to change this. Otherwise, I can't say hi because I don't see the name. So, okay. Hello, Brad. Hello, hello, hello. All right, Brad, where are you tuning in from? Where in the world are we? I want to say hi to Susan, Canada. This is amazing. So I'm hoping that we're going to have different stories about how our lead magnet is looking because we have a very international audience as always, which is super awesome. So again, anyone else, if you're here live with us, say hello. Okay, Brad is here, Tampa, Florida. Hello, hello. Beautiful. Okay. And one more thing that I actually forgot to ask last time, though, if you could please, please do me a massive favor. If you're live here with me, please give this live stream a juicy like just because it pushes it out to more people. I want to make sure as many people as possible can join us live for the session today. So if you can give it a like or any other reaction, you can do a clapping emoji, all the reactions that it allows. It just really, truly helps both on LinkedIn and on YouTube, depending on where you're tuning in from. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. We really, really appreciate that. And... I want to make sure that I actually kick this off by asking a very important question, which is, do we actually have a lead magnet right now? So do you specifically have a lead magnet? So give me a yes or no in a chat. And for clarity, lead magnet is a fancy way of saying a freebie. So again, something you give to your audience in exchange for getting their email address. Because we already know like having an email list is the biggest asset a business can have. Actually way more important than social media. We use social media to broadcast, right? And to like grow our audience and to bring them into our email list ultimately. So I want to know where you're at right now. Are we starting from scratch, very first email list because we don't have it? Or do you already have an email list? So do you have not an email list, Mindy, a lead magnet? <laughs> so do you have a lead magnet? Give me a yes or no in a chat just so I have more um, clarity around where we are in our journey. So looking at the chat right now. Okay. Susan's saying no. Very beautiful. We're just going to Kick it off from the basically best place possible and create a really yummy one. Okay, in a process of making one almost, that is what Miranda is saying. Okay, beautiful. How, so how is, okay, PDF lead magnet. So is saying he is a PDF lead magnet. Okay, so I may or may not plant a seed to maybe have you consider switching to video potentially. I just want to have a conversation around different types of lead magnets and how effective they are. No lead magnet. Okay. I mean, do we want a lead magnet? <laughs> um, I I would assume so here in this session, though. 
actually what I want to ask for anyone who has a lead magnet. So Walter already shared that he has a PDF one, but if you do already have a lead magnet or you were considering creating one, so even if you don't have one, what were you thinking of creating? So many people have eBooks, uh, many people have checklists. I hope I have spelled that right. Newsletters, other people offer many courses. So right now, like what did you have, either what do you currently have or what did you, were you envisioning? Like what were, what are you gonna give in exchange for getting someone's email address? So I'm just really curious to know where we at right now. Now, based on this topic of today's live stream, which is stop making PDF lead magnets, try video instead, I will kind of try to give maybe a couple of pointers or why video might be more effective as a lead magnet, though obviously what we cover is also very important. So just right now, I'm curious, what do we have or what were you thinking of having? Because chances are, if you were doing your research before, many people tell you like, oh yeah, just create anything. Or they're like, oh yeah, just create whatever the type of checklist. So looking at the chat, right? So again, no lead magnet right now. Um, I do have a free coffee and content session. Okay, Miranda, we're gonna have a conversation around that. Um, so just looking at a chat right now, I'd love to offer a mini course or something connected to the free membership. Amazing, beautiful, yes. We're gonna have a conversation around this. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Alex Ramosi. Please do let me know in the chat if you have. Though I, I mean, I have just borrowed what he, is saying in his books, the latest book, $100 million leads. And he basically says, just stop giving away sucky fluff. Like sucky fluff is the expression he uses. And I absolutely love it because he's talking about lead magnets saying that many people are just like creating something quickly together. And then they don't understand why nobody is enrolling in a lead magnet or sharing their email with them. Because this is basically one of the first touch points your audience is going to have with you. So you actually really want your lead magnet to be like incredibly valuable. Ideally, and this is also what Hermosi talks about, like your lead magnet should be something that people are already paying for. And I want to clarify this. So not that something that you think is super useful. Now that's something that you think should be worth a lot of money, but ideally something people are already paying for, meaning they're already like putting down money with other providers to get this problem solved. And if you can create a lead magnet that is completely for free, offering the same solution, that's how you know it's already, there's basically already a demand for it and gonna be super useful to people. So personally, what I have right now, I actually have profile to profit, which is like, how do you completely transform your LinkedIn profile into a sales page? And it used to be um, a small offer. It, it ranged between $47 to hundred and I think $97, the range where I was selling it at. It's like a mini course, mini training, two hours. And later on, after reading that book, by the way, I was like, I have to make this into a, a lead magnet. So I made it completely free because I already knew people are actually paying either hiring coaches or paying for other courses to get this problem solved. Because typically when they come to LinkedIn, they realize like, oh yeah, my profile kind of sucks. <laughs> so I need to start there. So I was like, okay, I need to make this into a lead magnet where I'm offering that off value. So I'm sharing this because I really, before we talk about the different types of like, ways you can deliver it to your clients. Can you think about, and maybe you can share it in the chat if you already have some ideas sparking, but can you think about something that would be, that your audience is already paying for to have it solved? So it's kind of connected to already what, with what you're doing. It doesn't have to be the entire solution, right? So it just has to be one step in the entire process. So for example, if anyone is coming to me and they're like, okay, I want to learn how to use LinkedIn, how to track leads here. Like that's a, I, I need to spend three to six months with you to like go through the entire foundation, right? Though I can give you a step one, which is a profile for free. So think about like in terms of steps of how you help your audience, what is one thing that you give to them in full, but completely for free? And I'm, I know I'm staying and stressing this point a lot though, going back to what I said that the expression, sucky fluff, many people's lead magnets are just like, it's just high level. Like you download something and you're like, this didn't really help me. Or it's just like, yeah, yeah, I had already read this somewhere else. Like it needs to be super impactful. Something that like people would be willing to put money down for, like they already are purchasing it somewhere else. And you give a complete solution to a very narrowly defined problem. So in my instance is, is a profile makeover. I'm just sharing that as an example. So do you have any ideas that are coming to you of like what that could be for you? Because again, before we talk about how do we get it in front of our clients, like how do we deliver it? I kind of want to, I kind of want to hear what you're thinking in terms of like, what could that thing be for you? Like what could, 
what could be like one step in your entire system, whatever you offer to your clients, be that you offer for free? Okay. And I want to say, okay, I'm seeing some people popping in. I want to say hi back to you. Again, I can't see the names here, though. Everyone who's here live with me, please, please, like what? If you don't have a lead magnet yet, or if you do have one, like what? What are you going to give to your audience? We're going to talk about how do we deliver it, written or like video or mini course. But what could be that thing that's incredibly impactful? I know I'm repeating myself, but that people are already spending money to solve. And now you're going to offer the same quality of solution, but completely for free. Okay, that's kind of how we want to be thinking about um lead magnets. And Walter, you're super sweet. Thank you so much. Your profile profit mini course is the best best example I've seen based on Hermosi's generous methods. Yeah, Hermosi's ethic. And it's just giving something like truly like not for that one step you give away for free. You're not holding back. It's not like in that um, course, I'm saying like, oh, and if you want to learn really all the details, you still have to like, you know, book a coaching call with me. No, like whatever you're giving them, you give the entire system for that narrowly defined problem. So what is what ideas do we currently have? What could you be offering as a lead magnet? I want to see and hear from you. And oh, Miranda was asking which book author couldn't hear properly. So anyone, if you could drop it in the chat, unfortunately, when you go live on LinkedIn, if I type in a chat, you're not going to see it. I just see what you're inputting. But it's Alex Hermosi, $100 million leads. Honestly, really great book. I can't recommend it enough. I actually buy it for all my clients. So if you literally just put in Hermosi, $100 million leads, you're going to find that book. And maybe, uh, Walter, if you have read that book, you could also just, just pop it in a chat, just name and title of the book, because it's really worthwhile to take a look at it. So checking back in with you, I know I'm probably asking for, like, for you to think on a spot, but do you have ideas of like, what could the lead magnet be? Not how we're delivering it, but like what's actually going to be the content? What is like that one small problem you know your ideal clients have that you could like solve right right now? Completely for free. Super high value. You are not holding back. When it comes to inbound marketing, by the way, in general, the more you give, right, the more you give freely, the more people come to you. Like, like that's just how it works. So like serve, 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 serve. Like you keep giving until people come to you, until they ask. Because you've given so much value. So the same thing applies to the lead magnet. Okay. Thank you so much. Yo, here we go. Yes. So Alex Hermosi, if you guys drop this in the chat, you're going to find uh, you're gonna find him. Guy, find his guy. He has two books. Honestly, both are great. But the $100 million lead speaks about lead magnets in particular, if you want to take a look at that. Um, awesome. So Steve is saying an assignment of their current strategic planning process. Assessment? Assessment. When he cannot read. <laughs> an assessment of their current strategic planning process. So I probably would want a little bit more like context or niche to understand how this could be looking like. Um, and I actually wanted to bring up something that I believe Miranda was sharing, right? So I do have a free coffee and content session. So this sometimes in Again, by the way, if anything is working for you brilliantly, meaning like you have a lead magnet and you're getting plenty of people to subscribe and signing up, like don't change that, right? If something is working, you keep it the way it is and you carry on with it. Though if we feel like we would want to be getting more signups, then that's a that's a point where we're trying to shift things. And when I would see this, Miranda, and this again, this applies to many people that I've spoken to, many of my clients as well, they oftentimes offer you know, like a free, a free discovery session, that's more, some people are going to book it. And um, listen, I have it on my LinkedIn profile as well. Like I give people 15 minutes to have a discovery session with me to see if we're a great fit to work together as well in bigger programs, though, this is, I wouldn't fully call this a lead magnet because I think there's at this point, people already have like an intent that they're like, oh, I probably kind of want to work with you. I just like want to have a more of a sense of like the type of a person you are with the lead magnet. They almost like I want it to be something that so like a content session, I content session is almost broad. Like if you could find like more of a narrowly defined problem, you could solve for them. So it's like, you know, like probably have heard these examples of like someone's gonna like give you like the entire let's say if it's an assessment then assessment of like how like your website speed or your seo score and what you could do to improve it and things like that so basically just giving 
finding a very narrow problem you're going to solve for them and then we can find a delivery mechanism right so like content content sessions kind of going in an interesting direction figuring out like how could it be more like more specific where idea is that once they whether it's the session with you or they maybe watch it online or however you deliver the lead magnet by the end of it they have actionable things they can do to implement and they get the the result they're looking for so going back to i know i'm repeating myself but like the way i'm trying to stress this is because you don't want to give like a high level if i think about content right now if someone was like ask like hence my lead magnet is not like about content on linkedin because i would be like okay well we have to talk about live streams and polls and carousels and videos and we have to talk about the structure how do you like lay out the post so we have the hook and then we go into a story and then we do coaching and we have two different call to actions and so basically there would be so much that it's like it literally involves into a course and if i didn't give the level of detail and if i just highly said oh like yeah you can do different types of content then it wouldn't be helpful enough so ideally i want you guys to kind of think about like what could be a again narrowly defined problem that you can solve for your ideal clients, right? Completely, not just I'm gonna solve 30% of it or give you an overall idea of how this works. No, like you find one specific thing you can solve fully because then it's a super useful lead magnet, right? After after you basically they, ex they execute it and you sold it for them, then it highlights the next step. So in my instance, and I'm just like making it as an example just so, you have an idea of like how it progresses, but the idea is like, oh, I just completely transformed my profile. I went through the mini course, was the next step. Oh, well, how do I actually still get clients? I mean, yeah, I have a cool profile, but like what's next, right? So the idea is that they're gonna completely get a complete solution here for this one step. And now they're like, okay, I'm ready for the next step. What do I do next? What's coming up next, right? So let me know if this is landing. I just kind of wanna give ideas of how to start thinking about this. Um, so I'm just gonna catch up with the comments real quick. Do, 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 do. All right, so uh, what we're saying, I was thinking uh, for Spanish language coaching services, a mini course uh, covering verb, uh, da, 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 which I don't even know Spanish enough to be able to pronounce this, <laughs> or maybe just one of these. Again, this would, this could be something Another way of thinking about what can my lead magnet be is like, what are you being asked the most? What are people like typically getting stuck the most? And whenever like you're doing sales calls, like what are people wondering and like what are questions, what questions are being asked? So for example, like I wouldn't necessarily, I believe like going live on LinkedIn is actually incredibly powerful. I get all of my clients experiencing it and seeing how they can resonate with their, like literally build up connection with your audience, but I probably wouldn't necessarily do a uh, lead magnet around going live on LinkedIn because that's like not the most urgent thing someone cares about when they start thinking about, oh, I need to grow on LinkedIn. So the, because I'm not your ideal client, meaning like I don't know Spanish, haven't tried to learn Spanish yet. So I, I want it to be something that's like the most burning thing, like the first thing someone can do and like it would immediately help them. So what do typically people want, right? So. I don't know if it's helpful, but I'm just trying to share a couple ideas that are coming with me to me. Um, all right, Susan's saying, could I give a free PDF on how to be successful with network marketing company because I'm uh, recruiting for a company? All right, so on how to be successful with network marketing company. Potentially, I'm thinking about like what would be the actionable thing that they get there. So it's this for me almost uh, this would be, I would say, a great video in general. If it's like a LinkedIn video or a YouTube video, basically explaining like, OK, how does networking marketing work? Um, and actually, maybe, Susan, you're, you're giving me an idea here because I kind of want to talk about like all the different ways like we deliver the lead magnet. Maybe this needs to be multiple videos. So just one video of how to be successful. Um, maybe like, because I, I wonder a step before that, if you're recruiting people for that, a step before that, they're not thinking about how to be successful. They're thinking about like, should I even do this? Like, how do you even know this is for me? Right? It's like, is this going to, like, is this relevant? Is this, is this going to work? So this might be like three video series, like three videos that you record or four videos that you record sharing more about this and like, 
giving specific actions in each, like something that they're learning within each module. So, and because you kind of mentioned a free PDF and this is like the entire topic of today's session, personally, and again, like take, take anything I say with a grain of salt if I'm not your ideal client, though personally I am, I just, I can't deal with PDF lead magnets too much. Um, especially when it comes to eBooks, I feel like 10 years ago, like everyone was recommending you should have an eBook, you should give your audience an eBook to get their email address. And when I actually see personally someone giving like a hundred page eBook away, I'm like, when do you think I'm gonna read this? It's almost too much, right? So like there's, think about your audience. Like there's already anything that we're offering for the most part, if it's like a service, if it's teaching something, people can find that information online anyways. Like it's available there. So if you give someone a hundred page something, a hundred page guide, a hundred page ebook, it's like, this is so insanely overwhelming because it's like, I, I listen to audiobooks. Like that's how I consume my books. I listen to them. I don't read them. So it's like, there's no way I could even consume this because I just, I don't prefer reading this way. So for the most part, I kind of want to encourage you today, and this is why this session is all about, I want to encourage you today to think about how we could potentially deliver your lead magnet in a video format. There are exceptions to this rule, meaning uh, one of my clients and a friend as well, she's in the digital pathology space. And those guys are freaking used to reading 100 page scientific reports about X, Y, and Z, and that's all they do, right? Like this is reports upon reports upon reports for something like that, for an audience like that, who already like, it's literally any any science, more science field, or maybe also a client of mine, um, he was in, he is in economics. And again, he's an ideal audience, like they read a ton. If you know your audience reads a ton and all they do daily is read reports and that's what they're expecting, then hands down, offering that information to them in a PDF would make sense, in a written format would make sense. However, if your audience is not that, I kind of want to plant a seed to think about, would video be a better way of delivering this information? And going back to the freebie I'm offering, which is a mini course on how to transform your profile. So it's two hours together. It's basically mini training. So there's a mini training on your headline, mini training on your banner, mini training on how your about section should look like, mini training on your how your featured section should look like, all the things. If I deliver that in a PDF, again, I would at least personally find it so overwhelming. I don't think anyone will actually implement it. So again, it's just, it would feel like a lot because you have to like read a ton. And right now, I feel like when we have an option to like deliver what we know in a video format, it can be far more effective. So I kind of want to encourage you to think about would your audience better receive it if you just gave them one one thing could be a mini course, like an hour mini course, two hour mini course, and you just break something down and you fully teach that. Or you could literally just have like three videos around the topic. So a friend of mine, and I'm going to shut up very soon because I want to make sure I take a look at the chat and any questions that are arising for you as I'm saying this out loud, please let me know. Though a friend of mine, uh, Amanda, she is a video coach and she was very focusing on that. And basically her videos, typically before she started working with a client, so she used to really help with the editing side. And the questions that her clients simply had is like, number one, how do I create my set? All the things, right? So she would have like a three minute video on how do you create your set? And then another video she would have around, like, what should I say in my video? Like, how do I even like talk to a camera? Like, how do I do this thing? I need, I know I need videos from a business, but how do I do this thing? So she had one video on how do you do scripting and like create a script that you can like then outline. And I think uh, a third video for her was something around equipment. Okay. So what equipment do you use? Right. Uh, a mic, a camera, things like that. So again, she's, she created three small videos and it's an entire, like it's a full solution to a small, very small problem. One is about scripting. One is about equipment. One is about like staging. Right. So that's kind of how I want you to think about how can you, the things that are that are important for your audience that they're struggling with, like what are the small things we could be delivering potentially in a video format rather than a PDF? Because I'm so much more willing to watch a three minute video and what I would do actually to exit then and then watch it is going to be like one and a half minute video. But then if you're going to give me anything written, I just don't read it. I, I, I just cannot like I. I don't know. Um, I need a plugin then that is going to be read out for me. I just prepare something be read quickly to me so I can do other things as well. So I kind of want to plant that seed for you. And I also want to take a ton of your questions as well. Now, let me quickly take a look at 
All right, take a look at da -da -da. your questions, my loves. Actually, before uh, before we continue and before I answer all those questions, I want to take a moment to also thank today's sponsor, which you can already see here on screen, which is Time Vault. So um, I actually get this asked a lot, it's basically about editing. How do I edit my YouTube videos? How do I edit my LinkedIn videos? And when it comes to YouTube, I do have an editor. Though what I do myself for LinkedIn as well is I edit my own LinkedIn videos and I do a rough cut before I send my video to the editor to take the best parts and then give it to the editor, which by the way, can be a very kind of cost effective way of working with the editor and not have them look at you when you're on screen and repeating the same thing over and over and over again. So I just want to take a couple of seconds just to show you why personally I'm kind of obsessing over Time Vault. So let me share my screen with you real quick. So this is kind of how the interface looks like. If it seems very simple, it's because it is, and that's the whole beauty of it. And this is literally a LinkedIn video. I actually dropped it, I think, a couple of days ago. So all I do is drag and drop a file in there. This is like a one and a half minute video for LinkedIn. And what automatically happens, which I want you to see, is that you see all these red parts over here. It automatically extracts all the silences. So it just cuts them out. And this is super useful because even though many tools say that they do this, you probably have seen them. For the most part, if you, this is actually every other tool that I have seen in the market, when they automatically remove silences from your videos, this is what happens. So typically, this is how it looks. So imagine this is that silence they removed, but they also cut off the ends of the words by accident. So what you always have to do in, once they remove silences, is go through it and be like, oh, it cut off the end of the word, you have to bring it back. Oh, it cut something off, I have to bring it back. So you have to basically go through the entire video yourself again, which sort of beats the purpose of automatic silence removal. So this is the number one thing why I love Time Vault. And this is basically what I do. So this, what you can see over here is like, I'm messing up and I just like, read it out. I mess up, I read it out. And again, I split something, I mess it up, I read it out. And I very quickly go through this video. I remove everything where I mess something up and I'm just going to go ahead, hit export video. And that is literally a video edited. So what I can do for LinkedIn is just add subtitles on it and push it on LinkedIn. Or for YouTube, I now take this, basically what I call a rough cut, and I would ship it over to my editor for them to do all the fancy things that I can't do, right? Though this is exactly how I use it myself. And if you guys want me to send you a tutorial on how to do this yourself, meaning like exactly how do you play around with this tool and how to like basically just do the entire editing in this video took me, I believe it was two minutes, 21 seconds in total to edit when I was doing it from scratch. So if you want to learn how to do this, comment tutorial below. Very happy to send it over to you after this session. So just so you know exactly how to use it yourself, uh, there is a completely free flow plan available. So if you want to play around with it, see if it works for you, there is that option as well. So again, if you comment tutorial, very happy to send this your way. Because again, I only share tools that I'm absolutely loving and I wish I knew about Time Vault when I was starting my YouTube journey because, again, I was personally trying to learn Premiere Pro, which is way too advanced for me. It used to take me two whole weekends to edit one video, which was insanity, and it wasn't good. So there is that. So anyways, if I can be helpful to you and show you exactly how I personally edit using Time Vault, just comment uh, Time Vault below. So comment tutorial, my loves, this is what I always forget. <laughs> Um, comment tutorial, here we go. So this is, if you drop this, I will just follow up with everyone who is interested and I'll just, again, send you a tutorial, show you exactly how you can do this yourself. You can play around with it for free. And then once you actually fall in love with it, which I know you will once you try it, there's actually a yummy deal you also get. You get 10% off with code Vendi10, which is, let me show you the code just in case you're gonna go there right now. But this is the code Vendi10 to get 10% off. Though I know that the most important thing for you is actually see how it's done. So again, if you just want tutorial, comment tutorial below and I'll get that your way. And I'm going to go back to your questions and we're going to continue talking about, uh, yeah, lead magnets and how do we record these? How do we shoot these and how do we host these? So yes, Miranda, yes, time ball also works. So comment tutorial or time ball because I did say both <laughs> yeah, calls to action. So yes, Susan, I will send you a tutorial as well. It's honestly is simple and simple is all you want. Like complexity is, ugh. It's crazy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through your questions. Okay, I'm going to go through all your questions just to answer them. If I have missed them, just copy and paste them again, just so I make sure I can be of most assistance, okay? So let me take a look. All right, how long? Miranda is asking how, so how long do you think a free video course should be approximately? 
So if it's going to be a mini course, um, a mini course, I mean, there is not basically the real question, like the real answer is always like as long as it needs to be like as short as it needs to be and as long as it needs to be to solve that problem. So there's not like, oh, like Miranda, I need your course to be like two hours or I need your course to be like one hour or 30 minutes. Just it depends on the, the scale of the problem. If it's just again, in my instance, it ended up being two hours because I was going through every single section on the profile, included tutorials of like, hey, this is how you design your banner. This is how you do all the things. And it just ended up being two hours. I would not go over two hours because actually this is relevant to everyone. You want your audience to be able to complete your freebie and take the next step in working with you. If your freebie is going to end up being too overwhelming, meaning let's say that my lead magnet was like, let me show you every single type of content you can do for LinkedIn. And let me teach you that copywriting. Let me do all the things, which typically, again, is a three month. I do this like it takes me three months with my boot campers, with my one to one clients to teach them this. If that was my like lead magnet. It just would take people way too long to complete it. Most of them wouldn't get there, so they wouldn't get to the next step of working with me. So I probably wouldn't recommend it being longer than two hours. I'm actually about to reshoot mine to try to make it and like trim it down a little bit because it's very important. Like, yes, it has to be a complete solution, but it's very important that like once people like go through all the videos, they implement them, then my very last video in the mini course is like the next step. And the next step, I have recorded the video basically saying like, here's the next step in like what we need to do next, which is like, hey, now we have to do content. So if you want my support with this, you know, you can book a discovery session below. So it's kind of like creating that funnel over there. So I hope this answers the question. If not, like I'm very happy to clarify. So just again, it needs to be as long as it needs to be to completely solve the problem though, you know, but that's as a mini course. You could also do a like a series where it's maybe like just you just give three videos answering like three, like three questions. And in that case, it could be like 10 minutes in total. If it's like three videos, so each video could be three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. If there's like three really burning questions people typically have about it or something like you can answer for them. For example, in the example I gave about uh, Amanda, like, you know, you can have a three minute video on equipment. Like I can easily like show you, I'm actually using all the equipment, so I don't have anything I could show you, but I could be like, okay, well, this is the hard drive I use, right? Da, da, da. This is the camera I use. You can say that in a three minute video. And by the way, you could edit it very quickly as well in Time Vault. So again, depending on what it is, but don't over, like don't make it into a an entire program because then people are not going to get to the end to take the next step. Okay, I'm going to shut up here. <laughs> um, make sure, do, 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 do. Make sure I am going back to your questions. All right, Miranda was saying, okay, this is me. I download eBooks, but never read them. And this is sort of the, this is sort of the problem. So, I mean, whoever you download it from still gets your email address. So it's a win for them. So they still made it a compelling, kind of a compelling pitch for you to be like, hey, you need this. But if you don't get to the end of them, at, at the end of the lead magnet, or maybe use an email address that's a personal one that you don't check as often, then they can't really like, nurture you down the line for you to become a client later on so ideally it is something like they get it and they're like like go ahead and complete it because just like thinking about it if i had to like write up just like the one section for like how your headline should look like and all the examples and the do's and the don'ts like that would already be like a couple of pages and personally i think it would be so much harder to consume and to learn so we're probably not uh, the only one here. So I also want to touch upon, I'm going to go back to the questions, but I wanted to touch upon like, how do you, re you record your lead magnet? So when it comes like bonus, you can just record direct to camera. If you have a camera and you have no screen to share, direct to camera is all you would do. So this could be your webcam. I have an external camera plugged in. Obviously, I always say like, don't underestimate your phone. Like you can just record direct to camera videos answering like a specific question and you can edit it later on. Or you can record yourself and your screen at the same time. So you have like yourself somewhere in the screen and then you have some sort of like a presentation type of thing, which I have in the mini course because like I show a slide. I'm like, here's the formula, but I'm still talking here explaining it, right? So again, if you want me, this is actually a part of the tutorial. This is TimeBot offers that as well. You can record yourself and your screen at the same time. And then you can, then you take that and you get it edited super quickly. And then you go ahead and export. So again, you can totally comment tutorial below if that feels relevant, just to learn how to do it. And I'm very happy to send it your way. Because again, it's, it doesn't have to be complicated. I do it in one take. 
So when I sit down, and I probably will do this this weekend, reshooting my entire course, I will just sit down. And this is actually important for anyone in video. If you mess up, continue, like repeat yourself and continue talking. Don't just like stop the recording and start from scratch again. Messing up is like completely normal. So for example, you will say something and like, oh, you completely messed up. Take a pause. And then you say the same thing over it, like once more, and then you continue. And it's going to be very quickly for you to edit that part out. Literally, you're just going to read it out. Or if you're going to choose to use a different software, you're just going to edit that part out. Just uh, all I recommend is that when you do mess up, when you're on video, just pause. Because if you said something and you said something on the top of it, like it's so close together that the editing is going to be a very abrupt and it's going to be obvious. So ideally, you mess up, low pause. I'm going to you repeat the same sentence and you carry on with your training. So I'm going to give a couple of like video tips over here because I do want to get you guys excited <laughs> about considering having a video lead magnet. And again, if you comment tutorial, I, I will actually send you the three sections here are going to be how do you record? I always like the simplest way either with your phone or your screen yourself at the same time. How do you edit? This is going to be a time ball tutorial on how you can edit your uh, recording, which is going to be the screen share or you direct camera. And then how do you publish? I'm going to give you a couple of ideas in terms of publishing. Now, personally, I use Kajabi to host my courses, but there are many other platforms. There's one, I will, I will give you one or two examples, like other ones you can use to like host your lead magnet, which allows video. So if it's going to like be at like a mini course, we're going to have to have a course platform, or if it's just going to be a couple of videos, then you can just basically go from your landing page. Then you go into the video one, video two, video three. And I actually want to very quickly, let me quickly share my screen with you. Let me change this if it's going to let me change it. Uh, so really quickly, I just wanted to show you, this is how, maybe I can zoom out. I hope you can see this. How well can you see this? Oh, not that great. Let me, all right. So this is typically when you do a landing page, by the way, is probably like the, the page people see before they give you your email address is the most important. So very simply, and this is in Hermosi's book, by the way, highly recommend checking that out as well. But basically you have a banner, you have a video here, 60 seconds, and then you have like a box to like get access now. So I have a banner. I designed this in Canva where I have the training name, like, Profile to Profit, how to turn your leading profile into a client magnet in just two hours. Banner, video I recorded of what it's about, 60 seconds of like why you need this, and then a box of like where they actually give you their name and email and they get access. And then from here, personally, I get them into a mini training, but you could like have three more landing pages of like video now one, video two, video three. And what I can show you, I no longer actually use this lead magnet, but what I'm going to show you is probably two years ago, before I had a mini training, I had that video one, video two, video three, like a landing page, like going from opt-in to like three more, like basically pages that you go through. If you want to see that again, just comment tutorial. I will link it, like give it your way. It's going to be slightly out of date because I, I don't use it anymore, but just to show you how it was set up of how it works when you go from one video to the next to the next. And that was 10 minutes in total because it was three videos, roughly three minutes each. And I believe the first one was about... How do you find your clients on LinkedIn? So I was showing like sales navigator. I actually don't, don't remember the second, like second and third, but it was like, again, very specific answers to specific questions. Going back to the chat, because I want to make sure I don't miss you guys. Okay. Oh, Hazel, you're here. I didn't see you earlier. Hello. And absolutely, I will send it your way. Catherine here as well. Tutorial. Very happy to send this your way. Dr. Alex. Alex, is, I was mentioning you before. So Alex is a digital pathology, and this is where... In her very rare instances, I would be like, if you do give a very long report, if your audience is very used to it, like to read a ton, that's okay. But for anyone else that's basically not a doctor or into economics, they probably prefer a video because it's easier. So everyone who commented tutorial, again, I will get this your way in the next 24 hours, okay? Because I need to record it as well really quickly. And all right. I want to go back to your question. So yes, everyone who's commented tutorial, I will follow up with you get it over to you in the next 24 hours. Um, what is your recommendation for box lighting? So any, literally, if you go to Amazon, I mean, I can include it in the uh, equipment recommendations when I send all those tutorials, but I have just a soft box in front of my face, like right now. From here, I have natural light. From here, I have soft box. Ideally, if you could be facing a natural light at all times, you wouldn't need a box. Like, 
light, not a box. But if you can be facing light, natural light, that is completely okay is lighting. I mean, natural light, I would even argue is the best. It just changes a little bit, but you don't have to overthink it until you're into heavy production. But a soft box is basically a big light because a ring light is going to be too small to like light up your face in a dark room. So you kind of want a soft box in front of your face. Mine is like half a meter away. Americans, sorry, I don't know feet and your measurements, but half a meter <laughs> is roughly how close I have it to my face. Uh, one thing I'm going to mention is that um, I sometimes cry because I'll have light in my face so much. So that, you know, maybe it's just girls who cry when they have lights in their face. Um, awesome. Oh, Alex is saying I already got time, but also using it for my audio podcast. Absolutely. Yes, you can edit audio there as well. I'm just obviously... Um, getting everyone excited about video though I'm gonna scroll back to your questions and please if I miss your question because when you go live you literally just have I have a chat bot and like I just it's full of questions and I can't miss them I just want to make sure I am being as helpful to you as possible uh, to answer them so let me as uh, look at this Walter's question so Wendy when converting from a previously paid product to a free lead magnet how do you deal with the idea that people who paid for that and now see it offered for free might get angry um I what well, I would always I didn't have that like experience where anyone was complaining about it I would say like the people who paid for it got it earlier on I think for it was paid for probably three, four months. So they had access to it way before, right? So like I would argue like, hey, you if you change your profile and you implement everything that I'm saying, then you like, then basically you can like attract more clients and take the next steps. If you want to mitigate for this, things you could do is basically for everyone who paid, like you could do like a bespoke workshop for them. Like, hey, you guys, you were amazing. You were the first people who enrolled in this mini training. I'm going to be hosting like one workshop just for you. Everyone who is inside of this course who paid for it, you're going to have access to me for one, two hours to answer all your questions. And what I have decided to do is actually to open it up to more people completely for free. Like I'm going to turn it into a lean bag net. Because again, I always advocate for transparency. Like just make sure that they got like you can offer them some sort of a bonus, some sort of like a goodie that they did this and they get access to you now and everyone else just like goes through the course, right? And by the way, you can offer, and I'm about to do this once I reshoot it, I'm going to offer bonuses to everyone who like leaves a testimonial because I, I mean, I get uh, emails from people, people who send me voice notes, but like uh, everyone who's going to leave like a nice testimonial for me, like on actually on a LinkedIn profile, I'm going to offer them like special bonuses with me, like access to me, things like that, just to encourage um, yeah, just encourage that social proof, right? Because anyone in business, whether you're selling products or services, you know that review testimonials are so important to encourage more people to enroll. And as I'm saying this out loud, what I'm thinking is that I should probably include screenshots of testimonials on my landing page somewhere as well, because that might encourage people to like enroll and share the email with me as well. All right. So, all right. Okay. Yes. Uh, time vault. Yes. So I, I know I said all the key words and Derek from Sacramento. Derek, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you can turn your name on <laughs> just so you're not like Mr. Anonymous here for us. Um, scrolling back, any questions uh, that I can answer for you, please let me know anything to do with lead magnets and growing your email list, drop them in a chat because it allows me to also know not just the tutorial I'm going to send you with like the walkthrough, but also I can record YouTube videos answering those questions. Like whatever feels relevant on how to grow your email list, just giving another thing I kind of want to mention. The reason you want your lead magnet to be so impactful is because like that, that gives an idea what your paid programs are going to be looking like. And again, Hormozy talks about this. He's like, hey, if you're going to give sucky fluff in your lead magnet, people are going to go through it and be like, ah, oh, his or her programs are probably sucky fluff too. I don't want that, you know? whilst and this is like these are my favorite comments when i when people uh, send me an email after they go through the course i literally get after i made it free i kept getting emails from people saying like oh my god this should be paid i have paid like someone said like they had paid thousands for this and it was like for some sort of training it wasn't nearly as good as like this free one so if you can get that that's how people should feel they're like they should feel like why in the world is this for free and when I get that much value, they like immediately perceive that your programs that are paid programs are going to be like, they must be insane. And they're so much more compelled to have your support there. If you gave them so much here, that it's like genuine, so, so good. So, so good value. Okay. So I'm just trying to 
encourage like not holding back figuring out what is going to be that one thing we solve and like completely giving everything people need around it so uh scrolling back at the questions have you ever used google docs to gather emails i haven't personally and do you mean like a google form where people would fill out a google form or something this this is uh you know, we, we always kind of have to think about conversion rate. I can't speak about like what the conversion would be when it's a Google Doc because I haven't personally tried that. It's always like we try to get as many people as possible to say yes to our lead magnet and like give us their email address. So, for example, when I wanted people to fill out my survey, I went to Typeform because I know I personally don't love the forms in Google because it just feels like a lot because you see everything at once. And I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. So it just, uh, it's all about like, what are we, how effective is it going to be? And again, because I haven't personally used Google Docs, I don't want to, I, I can't say either way. It just, I want to see what happens. Like, how do you, I'm just wondering, how do you to get our emails? Yeah, maybe Susan, if you give me like more info, like how would you be delivering the freebie, like the lead magnet? to them using a Google Doc or Google Form. Maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe there's, again, things are obviously AI so at the forefront of every single business. Maybe there's like new ways of doing this. I just can't imagine how it would be looking like. Okay. I'm also thinking about a quiz as a lead magnet. Okay, Miran, I actually think this is interesting. That's interactive, right? This is interactive. And yes, to be fair, I'm also thinking about quizzes. I haven't personally played with them. This is... Again, people want fun. People like to play. And the way, by the way, this is different than a PDF is, again, you're not just like taking a bunch of information and dumping it someone and be like, hey, sort it. Read these 200 pages of something or even 20 pages of something. It's like, yeah, I have 20 pages. I have millions of pages online. Like it's too much of information and it's hard to read. But a quiz is interactive. And it can, it can definitely be interesting. I, and again, we sometimes have to play around with this and be like, what does our audience respond to? And what can we create? So as a lead magnet, so I would, Miranda, if you have an idea, I would love to know like what in your, like what would be the title? Like what would, what would the quiz be about? Like find out what, you know, X, Y, and Z. And then where and where in that process do you get their email address? So just for example, if you have ever done personality quizzes before, what happens? And again, I'm gonna raise my hand. I definitely have. <laughs> um, what happens is that you know, like you have to answer uh, questions about X, Y, and Z, and they give you like rate this to the scale. Basically, you answer all these questions to get your personality type or whatever it is, right? But before you get the results, you have to share your email. And obviously, because you have just spent all this time answering these questions, you're like, I can't abandon now. And I'm kind of curious because I answer all these questions. So I'm like, what are you going to tell me? It is. So then it's like, yeah, of course, like now natural thing, I'm going to enter my email to get the results. So and by the way, it's, you could still deliver them in a video format after that. You know, like you could if there's like, I don't know, six personality types, you could still have like six videos for each because, again, I'm going to. And maybe this is me, but I think I say to quite a few people, even with personality tests, so when it gave me a massive page to read, I was like, oh, it just, please don't make me do that. <laughs> I'm just not a reader. I, to be fair, I have never been a reader. So I'm so thankful for audiobooks, for podcasts, for YouTube videos, and for playback speed that is 2x. So uh, do -do -do -do. still thinking about it, I got... Ron is saying, I got interactly through AppSumo. I actually don't know what that is. I got interactly through AppSumo. I'm, I'm, I would love to hear how it goes. Send me a message on LinkedIn. I personally don't have experience with this, but I'm, I'm very curious again, because there's, just think about interactive ways of like what your, what is the problem that your audience has and how would they prefer solving it, right? Because if it's like, how can, how can they solve it? How can you together with you in the easiest possible way? And this can be quizzes. This can be a mini course. This can be video. I just probably am trying to sway you away from just giving someone like a, a bunch, like a massive PDF to someone. And even creating a PDF, by the way, it takes forever, at least for me. I, I think I did this at the very beginning. And I was like, it just, again, takes forever. 
and always think about what is that next step? Like, does it encourage someone to then take a next step to have a session with you or to try your service? Um, something along those lines, right? So I'm thinking about like, hey, like if I, just because we're talking about all, you know, video editing here as well, it's like if I had a video editing software, what would I, what would I teach? Maybe I could have a quiz where I'm like, hey, like what types of videos are you trying to edit? Is it LinkedIn? Is it TikTok? Is it YouTube? Is it this? And then based on that, they answer a couple of questions, then I can kind of actually have them training and be like, hey, if I was trying to solve this, here's like what I would do. Because you're almost like trying to understand who, who entered your funnel. And then you're kind of giving them different training, which is like quite smart. Or, you know, I don't like at this moment in time, I don't help people. Um, like my profile is focused, like profile to profit is for business owners. So if you want to track clients on LinkedIn, I'm going to show you how to tra- change your profile. Potentially, if at some point I also help, let's say people who are looking for a new role, promotion, new job of how to change their profile, their strategy would be so different. So I could have a quiz at the beginning and be like, hey, who are you? Kind of to understand, are you looking to do this and that? And then based on there, they get separate training. So I'm like really getting personalized depending on who said, like who they are. So maybe there's even a quiz together with video. I'm just like thinking out loud, but that could be an effective way to understand your audience as well and giving them exactly what they want. Not just like, here's this one general thing right? Uh, for example, if it was about content and you help people with content, it's like, hey, do you do you want to learn more about video? Do you want to learn more about uh, written text, like a written posts? Do you want to learn more about live streaming? They select and then maybe they get a training about it. I'm just like brainstorming together with you. So what other questions can you answer? And if I missed yours, please just copy and paste it again. And actually, whilst we are here, could you please, please, please Um, do me a massive favor. And if you haven't already, just give this live a juicy like. Honestly, helps so, so much, both on YouTube and on LinkedIn, just to get pushed this out in the algorithm. And by the way, whenever you do go live as well, I highly encourage asking your audience for their support just to, again, just to keep it going. Because when it comes to live streams, at least I personally believe the most fun way of running them is by engaging with your audience. So it's way more about the conversation you have with your audience. And I typically like to do like, And that's why I offer like comment tutorial for training because then I can shoot those videos and offer them later on. But like live stream is all about interaction. That's at least what I believe. So if you could give this a like, that would help a ton. And please, we still have um, uh, like five more minutes together. Uh, And if there are any other questions, I want to make sure I answer them for you so we can think through any of the ideas that you have. I'm going to scroll back because I know I definitely missed some. Um, All right. Definitely copy and paste them for me as well so I can answer them. Do, 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 do. Okay. Scrolling up. I really need someone to assist me with these live streams so I don't miss any questions. Okay. I think I might have answered most of them. Do we have my loves that who are, I don't know, for this time, for the first time, I actually don't see how many of you are here um lie with me still so what other questions do you have how can i most support you thinking about growing your email list and creating a lead magnet so as i promised anyone who commented tutorial i will send you how to record your video so either shoot with your phone or record yourself on your screen at the same time the number two how to edit your lead magnet super simple typo that's why i love it and then where to host it i'll give you a couple of ideas but obviously the hosting part is going to depend if you're going to choose to have a mini course or a video series like just like three small videos if you're going to choose to have a quiz right though i'm going to try to encourage you to kind of deliver it in a video format and also the book i do recommend that you check out the book because he's just going to lay down her mosey just like talks about like make sure it's insanely viable people are already i mean Imagine people are already paying $200 or maybe $500 or $1,000 to get that problem solved with a different provider. And you're like, hey, here's that much better, but for free. And one thing actually I want to mention is that what is happening to me is that, and I, and I love this because I did a sales call with someone and they said that they found out about me because someone had sent them my lead magnet, meaning someone had sent them my free training. And like, that was like, that's the moment I knew it's starting to work 
when without you promoting it, people are sharing your lead magnet with other people because they think it's super useful because their mind is blown. Like, how is this for free? You need to take this and they literally were sharing it without my knowledge. That's what you want to happen. And then people are going through the lead magnet, seeing that you can book a call with me. And then they ended up with a sales call on a sales call with me because someone else had shared it. So that's how you want. That's kind of the level of impact you want your lead magnet to have. That's why I want to reshoot mine because uh, I, I shot it for the first time a year ago and it's time to have for a fresh update. And that's kind of how I want you to think about it. Okay. Yes, Doug, you can use Time Vault to record your um, screen and yourself at the same time. We already mentioned this. So I say record, not capture, but that's that's what I mean. You can record yourself and your screen at the same time. Um, thank you for everyone. Again, everyone who commented to tutorial, I will follow up with you. I'll send you the training and how you can do this yourself. How do you get your YouTube seen? Susan's like dropping a <laughs> big question on me. How do you get, how do you grow a YouTube channel? Um, I'm going to paraphrase it, but let me know if this is what you asked. Is it how do you grow a YouTube channel or are you thinking about your lead magnet being on YouTube? Clarify if I'm not understanding this correctly. If it's how do you grow a YouTube channel? And this is for everyone. First of all, I'm actually going to drop a video around this probably a week from now. You, like YouTube versus LinkedIn, what's better for your business. The way you grow on YouTube when you're just getting started, like in my view, until you get to your first 1,000 subscribers, all your videos should be about the topics that your audience is searching. So I would use tools uh, that I, again, I can in include these later on, send it to you personally. Anyone who's interested, you can message me, but I will use different tools for keyword research. So I would basically see what my audience is searching for. For example, if I search like any keywords around LinkedIn, like people are searching for how do you change my um, cover image uh, on LinkedIn? People are searching for LinkedIn Sales Navigator. People are searching for, I was just doing the research. So basically I would just do keyword research first to see what people are searching for. And then all I do is create videos around it. Because YouTube is special in that it's basically Google with videos. It's a search engine with videos. Your goal with YouTube is to appear in the top three search results, always. That's your goal. Like you want people, when people search for how do I do X, Y, and Z, what is the difference between this and that, this versus that, how do I edit a podcast? When they search that, you want your video to appear in the top three results so people watch it. And then you have a funnel from there of how you get them into your email list as well. But ultimately, that's actually how I personally have done it and how I recommend anyone thinking about like YouTube. At the beginning, you can't share personal videos like day in life of Vendi. Like nobody cares. I don't think anybody still cares. You know, I, I have shared more personal videos more lately, but at the beginning, it's all exactly what my audience, I do a ton of keyword research and then I shoot videos around exactly what they're searching for. Whatever it is that they're searching for, how to create a LinkedIn company page, how to, uh, you know, create a feature section, how to do polls on LinkedIn, how to go live on LinkedIn, how to do carousels on LinkedIn. I will, everything that they're searching for, those are all the content you're doing. Because that's how you grow at the beginning. And then obviously there's different strategies to expand. Though I wouldn't think about that and worry about that until we're at our first 1,000 subscribers, which is all SEO. Treat it as SEO. It's like just, again, Google owns YouTube. When people search how to go live on LinkedIn, it serves YouTube videos on Google as well. So I get a ton of traffic for some videos. 80% of my traffic actually comes from Google, not just YouTube, because Google is big, bigger and more people search on Google. So it's, it's insane. All right. So yes, I have. All right. Yes. Let me double check. And my labs, I'm going to have to hop very, very soon. Um, cause I have a coaching call after in the boot camp. though. I want to make sure that I've sent your free training to people and your YouTube channel too. Susan, thank you. You're so sweet. And this is kind of I, I, exactly what I want to happen to you. When we're thinking about our lead magnet, it needs to be something that people are blown. Their minds are blown that this is free. So they're sharing it. Okay. So I'm going to have to hop for today. Any, everyone and anyone who commented tutorial, I will get it your way. How you can record your lead magnet, how you can edit it and where you can host it. I want to make sure I say hi and bye to everyone. Uh, you're so welcome. Me, Miranda, any questions I haven't answered, like just drop them, keep commenting. And I'm going to come back to this um, again in the next 24 hours. I'll reply to your questions in a live stream. If I didn't I'll reply to them, here with you and I'll get the tutorial over to you. So again, I'm going to pop this up on screen. Make sure you have commented tutorial. Everyone who did, I'll follow up with you. I have to hop for a coaching session right now, though you guys were amazing as per usual. 
And yeah, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you to read the book. I'm excited for you to record your lead magnet, make it insane, because that's the fastest way to grow. Rather than having to market your lead magnet over and over and over again, I don't mention mine as much. I do mention them in my YouTube videos, but besides like that, it's like I don't push it upon people. People share. I want that for you. So comment tutorial, I'll get it over in your hands. And yeah, I'm so excited for all of you. So thank you for being here. Tutorial for all of them. Yes, I'll just create one big... I'll, I'll give you, I'll, it's going to be a mini course. You're going to see exactly how I do this. So again, thank you, my loves, for being here. Have an amazing rest of your Thursday, and I'm going to catch you very, very soon. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> All right, I need to hop to a coaching call. Okay, I'm going to have to explain myself why I'm late. All right, bye, my loves, bye, bye, bye.